Hi again, all my crafty friends. If you are new here, I'm Dawn, and you have found Designs by Gaddis. If you enjoy DIYs, flips, and everything farmhouse, you are in the right place. On my channel, I love bringing you fun, simple, and affordable home decor DIYs on a budget. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see, hit the bell notification and leave me a comment. I used an old Dollar Tree hanging basket to create a chicken wire and twine basket. I used this chicken wire I have had for quite some time. To get started, I aligned the chicken wire with the top and one side bar of the hanging basket. I secured a couple of rows on the side by twisting the wire around the side bar of the basket. I then started attaching the wire the same way at the top of the basket. I used a pair of pliers and turned down the top of the wire so that it bent over the top of the hanging basket. I continued doing this around the top of the basket until I got to the end of the chicken wire. When I got to the end of the chicken wire, I went ahead and cut the bottom portion off. I will be using this section for the other half of the basket. It would have been more simple if I would have had enough chicken wire to wrap around the entire basket, but I didn't. I wrapped the end of the wire I had cut to another sidebar on the hanging basket in the same manner. Now that I had the first section of the chicken wire attached to the top and sides of the hanging basket, I folded the ends of wire into the center circle at the bottom. This was to get them out of the way so I could attach the second part of the wire. I attached the second side of the basket the same way I did the first. Now that both of the sides were attached, I went around the bottom, bending the wire around the bar the same way I had around the top. After both sides of the basket were attached, I went back around the basket making sure the chicken wire wasn't sticking up anywhere. I used my pliers and tightened all the places I had turned the wire over the bars of the hanging basket. I would suggest wearing work gloves for this step. Do as I say, not as I do, because I wound up sticking myself with some of the wire and I didn't think I would ever get it to stop bleeding. Once I did get it to stop, I started wrapping twine around the top of the basket. I just weaved it inside and out of the chicken wire and the top bar. For the bottom of the basket, I used these two round pieces of wood. I couldn't find the same size round pieces, so I glued the smaller one to the middle on the bottom side of the basket and the larger one on the top. I decided to stain the wood with antiquing wax, which I wish I would have done before gluing them down to the basket would have made it a lot easier. But I think this basket turned out so stinking cute and I can use it for so many different things around my home. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly home decor DIY videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. 
Until next time, happy crafting.